So you have a chronic pain condition. Have you tried modifying your diet? This is the most frustrating response for me personally when I tell people that I have invisible disabilities. We all know that diet's important, so when this question comes up, it feels condescending because we all know diet's important. So I personally subscribe to the gates of speech and this question does not pass. The gates of speech are, is it true? Is it kind? Is it necessary? And is it the right time? And yes, it is very true, diet is important. And I do believe people who ask these questions are doing it from a place of kindness and compassion. They worried about us, but it's not necessary. We know this ancient wisdom, diet is important. And people who are suffering from these invisible disabilities, they've tried, I assure you. And then it all always comes down to the time and place. I mean, I talk about my diet and recipe modifications all the time, but people come to me specifically for that. And I don't go to random people's dinner tables and tell them what they're eating wrong. So let's take a look at what my diet is actually like. So for me personally, not only do I have EDS, but there is a common comorbidity that goes with that called mastitosis, which I live with. So mastitosis means that I have too many mast cells and they are very overactive. And I have developed many, many, many food allergies. I mean, many food allergies. And when, it, personally, when I'm trying to find something to eat, I think, Hmm, will this make my throat close? Will this give me digestive distress? And is it tasty? And that's all I'm really thinking about. If it, if it passes those food safe things for me, I'ma eat it. But it's not that simple, of course not. Because I have these overactive mast cells, I have to medicate before I can even eat. And so I, for me, I take this medicine, put it in some water and I drink it 30 minutes before I eat so I don't have reactions, so I don't develop new allergies. So yeah, eating is a chore, especially if you have these dietary restrictions. And when you have these dietary restrictions, that particular question, have you modified your diet? Have you tried this diet? They also feel a little, a little bit more hurtful because sometimes it's, no, I can't try to do that diet because I'm allergic to the meat that you eat on that diet. So, <clears throat> That's my two cents. Thank you for listening and learning this week on Invisible Disabilities Week. I appreciate you.